All right, let us consider another exam question still on the solving of our equations. Remember our algebraic equations, we need to solve for any unknown value that you're given. So this is a typical exam question on question number seven. And we were given on 7.1 to solve for X. So in this case, first part, uh, these are equations. Whenever you're solving, remember, you must find this unknown value, which is x, all right? So let's see what we are given. The first equation is given on 7.11, which is uh, 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 5, and we've got three marks for that, all right? So in this case, if we are to consider our equation, remember the concept of the additive and the, the multiplicative inverse, we can get rid of this minus one. All right, since it has nothing to do with X, but it's a minus one. So how can we obtain a zero minus one? If we add a one, that must give us a zero. If it was one, if we subtract a one, that must give us a zero. So by adding a one, by adding a one, remember it's an equation, whatever that you do on the left-hand side is supposed to be done on the right-hand side. So that was going to give us what? Uh, 2x, which is equal to minus 5 plus 1, which is a minus 4. Or just take this minus 1 to the other side. It changes the sign there. It becomes a plus. Still, it's one and the same thing. Divide by a 2, by a 2, the multiplicative inverse. For us to obtain a 1, we must divide the product there. So x is equal to what? Minus 4 divided by 2, that's a minus 2. So that was going to give you a minus two at the end. You can also try by all means to test your values into the equation. Back, you substitute that uh, and see if that X is correct. All right, 7.12, you are given again another equation. That is uh, 3X minus two is equal to X plus four. We also talked of this type of an equation where we need to collect the terms of X to one side and those constants to one side of the equation, meaning to say we must consider our like terms in that case, the like terms. So the part of X to the other side of the equation, but knowing that the moment that it crosses the equal sign, let's say we take this X to this side, the moment that it crosses the equal sign, jumps the equal sign, it changes its sign. So it will be a minus on this side. So it's going to be 3x minus x is equal to already. There is a plus 4 on the right-hand side. Check the minus 2 to this side. It becomes a positive. It was a minus. The sign changes to a plus. So it's going to be a plus 2. So that's it. 3x minus x, this is the same as 1x. The coefficient there is a 1. So 3 minus 1, that is going to be 2x which is equal to four plus two, that is a six. So let's divide by two, by two, both sides, so that we obtain uh, the X value six divided by two, that was gonna be a three. So that is the X value, which satisfies our equation. If you can substitute that X value, you'll see that the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. All right, another equation, three marks, again, it is a fraction that we have there. Do not worry about that. All right, so that's 7.13. We are given x over a minus 3 plus a 2 is equal to a minus 2. So remember again, we can get rid of the 2 there from the additive concept. Subtracting a 2 from a 2 gives us a 0. So the moment I subtract a 2, I'm supposed also to subtract a 2 or just take it to the other side. It changes the sign. So it means I've got x over a minus 3, 2 minus a 2, that's a 0. We no longer have the part of what of 2. We are just remaining with this part only. This one is no longer there. 2 minus 2, that's a 0. So it is equal to minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 like this. That's a minus 4. All right. The negative 3. Look what it, it, it is. It is in the denominator in this case. That is the one that we have there. So instead of dividing this time, 
we multiply by a negative three both sides. It is different where it is minus 3x is equal to a certain number there where you divide. This is x over minus 3. So the inverse, that is minus 3. You multiply by the inverse there. So that is going to cancel. So x will be equal to what from this uh, part, our x is going to be minus 4 times a minus 3, which is a 12. Whatever that you do on the left-hand side must be done on the right-hand side. You subtract a 2, you also subtract a 2 there. That is the concept of an equation. It must balance. So this part is supposed to balance with what is on the right-hand side. So our x is supposed to be a 12. All right. Then on number 7.2, we have got a word problem, which is a statement that we are given. The sum of two numbers is 165. Two numbers, we do not know these numbers. So let the two numbers be x and y. We do not know the numbers. So let these two numbers be x and y. So the sum means you're adding x and y together. X plus, that's the sum. We are supposed to obtain 165. That is what you're given there. And another statement again, still on the same part again, we are given a statement to consider. And that's another statement. Their difference is 27. When we added, we got 165. This time, the difference, if we subtract x minus a y like this, we must get a 27. Find the numbers. Find the numbers. Find x and y. That is the question. The numbers, it's x and y. So find these numbers. We had a question where we considered uh, actually working with uh, the substitution. When I was substituting, writing x in terms of y. You can do that. According to this formulation that you have of these two equations, we can ask ourselves, how can we get rid of the y or how can we get rid of the x? It's up to you. Remember the additive concept. So it's either I can get rid of this y here. How? By adding a y when added to a minus y like this. The additive concept. One is positive. Another one is negative. What do you get? You obtain a zero. It was going to happen even on x. Is x, but I must subtract so that this will be plus minus x. So on x, for you to obtain a zero, you must subtract. But on y, we are going to add plus and minus. That's a minus. So the sign that you are going to put here is going to affect everything, even though you want to get rid of y. You want to remove y there. So you're going to use the additive concept, the additive inverse. So y plus minus y, that's a zero. So meaning to say here, we are going to obtain what? A zero on this part. What about for x? x plus x, let's add, because that's a plus there. So it's 1x plus 1x, which is 2x, is equal to, remember, this one gave us a zero. So we are going to add. On the other hand, we have got uh, 165 added to a 27. And that was going to be uh, 192. Just like that. So as you can see, we no longer have Y. We have removed it by adding from the additive inverse. What is it that you are left with? Only X. So we can divide the multiplication. The opposite just divide, which is the inverse of 2. It's a half. So you divide by a 2. So X is going to be 192. Uh, divided by 2 on your calculator, that is going to be a 96. So if you divide properly, uh, you are going to obtain a 96 as your X value. So remember, these are two numbers to be found, X and Y. So to find the value of Y, you can now substitute this X in any of the equations. So you must uh, substitute the x, which is equal to six, uh, 96 in any of the given equations, in any of the given uh, equations. 
meaning to say we can substitute that in this equation we can substitute that in the second one you must obtain the same value of y all right i'm going to use the first one x plus y is equal to 165. we have x we calculated that x it's 96 so substitute put that x here which is 96 so 96 plus y like this is equal to 165 what are you having you are now having an equation with y as the only unknown value so you can solve that remember our additive concept we can transpose this yes it becomes a negative 96 there it's up to you or you just ask yourself how can we remove this 96 which is being added just subtract that so we subtract 96 both sides that means this will cancel by subtracting 96 minus 96 that's a zero so zero plus y like this it gives us y so y is equal to 165 minus 96 so as you can see uh the value that we have even if we were to transpose it, it was going to be a negative 96. So we subtract 165 minus 96, and that was going to give us a 69. So that's another number to be considered, another value to be considered of these numbers that we are asked to find. So we let the numbers to be x and y, then we formulate equations in x and y according to the statement that you are given. You formulate an equation in x and y. You solve now the equations using any appropriate method that you understand. So uh, there we used the part of uh, getting rid of the y using the additive inverse. In so many ways, I'm going to talk about that so that we do understand the concept. But this is what we had uh, for four marks for this equation and 18 marks on the whole of this question. Let us just try do revise as many questions as you can.